Every year, thousands of men in Singapore go back to camp for military training. There are otherwise civilians who have a career outside of the military. This mandatory training keeps their skills up to date for national defence. They have to complete at least 10 trainings at an average of once a year. This year, I'm entering my sixth training and here's why I'm looking forward to it every year. There are three essential items I must bring to camp. The first is uh, my Apple charger, uh, because my old iPhone 7 could barely last a day on the full charge. And uh, we also use WhatsApp to communicate in camp and uh, use our phones as an entertainment device during those boring waiting times. Um, next is my civilian bag, uh, which I use to pack my clothes, uh, my uh, slippers, sleeping attire, toiletries, you know, like the kind of stuff that you bring for a staycation. Um, finally, I would also need to bring my military identity card, which I need to use it to exchange for uh, my favourite weapon, which is the formidable GPMG, General Purpose Machine Gun. And uh, I would also bring some extra cash to buy some supplies at the E-Mart. So before heading back to camp, I thought of just sharing a bit about how I'm feeling right now. And here are my top reasons why I love going back for reservist. First, it's a free vacation, so I get to enjoy about one and a half weeks away from, away from work and it doesn't consume my annual leave. I still get paid the same amount uh, in my corporate job because servicemen can claim the difference between their corporate salary and the service pay, called a makeup pay, so that we don't suffer a drop in income just by going for reservist. The service pay is what the army will pay you based on your military rank. So if I'm not employed now, I will only just get a few hundred dollars after reservist, which is much lower than what I would make in the corporate world. The second reason is that I get a mental get away from work. And I mean, it provides a break away from all that mental stress of, you know, sitting down at the computer for a year, talking to people on the phone, and uh, wrecking my brains just to deal with business problems. I mean, I can finally get a week to just get up and do some physical workout in the jungle or in camp with my buddies just to take my mind off to do something else. And one fact that I, that I like to highlight is that gone are the days where we have to lift bricks and sandbags just to earn a living. I mean, right now, even we need thinking soldiers. So we work even more in the mental realm to solve problems today. And I think it's absolutely important that we keep our, our mental health in check. And one of the best ways really is to get physical exercise. So I highly welcome doing some physical exercise, working out, you know, carrying heavy stuff. <laughs> and I think uh, that going back for reservice uh, helps to improve my mental health. And the third reason uh, linked to that why I like reservist is because it is an exclusive adventure camp with team bonding elements. I'm from the infantry unit and we do island defense. Some of the toughest things that we do in the field are to build a machine gun nest made out of hundreds of sandbags and wooden poles and we do it as a team uh, with buddies throughout the night. I'm really optimistic about this because I would never ever get a chance to do something like this ever again, even if I pay for it. Besides, I won't be able to convince my buddies to do this with me uh, if not for the army reservist which brings us all together. And I think about those epic firefights where we build up our defense over days and nights just for that few hours of combat. I think it's absolutely thrilling. Yeah, I mean, the heavy stuff is kind of annoying to carry and I wish I could, you know, skip the sweat and the heat and all that uncomfortable stuff. But I get that it's part of the experience that makes it so fulfilling overall. By going back for reservice, we also get some CPF bonuses, uh, cash incentives and tax relief, which I will link all the details in the description below. So with these benefits, I have been consistently attending every call up every year, year on year, and I feel very fortunate that my unit has been calling us back every single year. This means that I can complete my 10 cycles obligations by the time I'm 32 years old. Which is great, so that I don't have to be doing this when my body is older and uh, it's obviously going to be tougher, right? And, and I can focus on doing some other things in life. Some people think that they would rather defer it for valid reasons, uh, such as work commitments and all that kind of stuff. But even if they apply to me, I still make it a priority to attend reservice by making arrangements with my managers. Ultimately, we men sacrifice time and effort away from our careers to contribute to national defence. Many people have spent their careers building up the economic prosperity of our city. 
It is thus an honour to preserve the peace we live in so that others could build their careers too. Now, go and build yours. Alright guys, right now I have my duffel bag over there. Uh, it's been sitting there for about a year or so. Yeah, so I'm just gonna remove all these items. Yeah, it's kind of heavy. 